In our previous episode, we explored the beautiful Apo Island. If you haven't watched that yet, the link to that is in the description. In this episode, we will be focusing on our trip going to Sikihor Island. Sikihor is well known for its infamous Agimat and Gayuma. Pero maliban dito, Sikihor offers incredible tourist sites like beaches, scenic views, and mystifying old places. Sikihor is a big island and we don't have enough time to explore all of it. So, in this episode, we will be exploring the southern part of the island. Places like the ancient Balete Tree, the Lassie Old Church, Kambugai Falls, the 360 view deck, and the Healer's Village. To start off our journey, we'll be starting in Dumaguete, taking the Roro from Dumaguete Port, going into Sikihor. But before we get to the boat, ikot-ikot muna tayo sa Dumaguete. Siyempre, going places like the St. Catherine of Alexandria Cathedral. And the 18th century belfry, the Campanario di Dumaguete. After that, it is off to the Roro Terminal, where we are going to take a boat ride for an hour or so to Sikihor Island. It was just amazing to see that their port water is very clean. You can definitely see the bottom of the seafloor from the boat. I just can't resist the feeling na tumalon at magdive. Maybe next time that we come back to Domaguete, we will look for a free diving spots and we are gonna explore their waters. Medyo madaming tao during that time sa barko. Since it's Friday, a lot of locals, including foreigners, are crossing to Sikihor to spend the weekend. After a two-hour boat ride, we've finally arrived. Siyempre, it's time to take photos on their popular Welcome to Sikihor. Siyempre, dumiretso kagad kami sa hotel namin na napakamura. 1k a night and my swimming pool pa. We decided to stay here because the hotel is part of a stretch of beachfronts sa San Juan area. Yung San Juan area is like Boracay, where restaurants and hotels are facing the beach, with lots of bars and places to chill and hang out. One thing to note is that dito sa San Juan area, napakadaming foreigner na nagstay. Since we are exploring the southern part of Sikihor, mas mabuti na dito kami magsistay. And this is my first time to check out the beautiful beaches of Sikihor. So what we did is just chill. Nag-dinner kami sa Japanese restaurant na Mr. Sumo ang pangalan where the food is great. And then, siyempre, naligo sa pool ng hotel. And then, after that, it's rest time na for the big adventure tomorrow. Early morning, siyempre, hindi kompleto yung adventure without coffee. So, we took off at around 6 a.m. And the first destination na pinunta namin ay ang 400-year-old Balyate Tree, which is an 18 minutes ride from our hotel. Mm -hmm. 
Below the tree is a natural spring that flows directly to a man-made pool. Sabi daw nila, may mystical powers daw yung tubig. Pero huwag niyong inumen. Bakit? There are small fishes that locals call piit. If you submerge your feet into the water, the fishes will be attracted to your feet and nibble on your dead skin. More like fish food spa. Mostly, people put money on these old trees for good luck. Pero dito, they toss coins into the man-made pool and make a wish. If you notice, kami lang yung tao and maybe we are too early. Pero ang kagandahan lang dito is that we have the place to our own. And syempre, todo picture-picture na sa Balyete Tree. The next destination is the historic Church of Barangay Lasi. Medyo malapit lang yung Lasi Town kung saan yung church, which is a 13 minutes drive from the Balyete Tree. Did you know that the Lasi Old Church was made of sea stones and hardwood? Oo, batong dagat. So just imagine how they would transport the stones from the shore all the way up to this mountain. That's why if you are here in Sikihor, it is a must destination to come here and appreciate these old structures. Of course, Lassie Church has one of the largest convents built. The U-shaped Bahay na Bato Convent was built during the Spanish colonial era, noong 1857. Ngayon, nasa loob ng convent na to, ang Sikihor Heritage Museum. So I would recommend to go here and check out the items in their museum. Our next destination is probably the most enjoyable one, the Kambuga High Falls. From the Lassie Church, malapit lang siya, 4 minutes drive going uphill. Siyempre, enjoy ako kasi I am a fan of scenic mountain views. You will have to hike down for about 15 minutes from the main road going down to the waterfalls. Very convenient because there are already stairs so hindi ka mahihirapan going from the main road into the waterfalls. Kambugai Falls is probably the best waterfalls in Sikihor. Bakit the best? Kasi may tatlong levels yung falls. And in each level may mga platforms that you can jump off from those platforms into the water. We decided to swim sa third level. The falls is not that majestic in my taste since I have my own experiences with some of the waterfalls around Panay Island. And the Kambuga High Falls is a very chill and relaxed falls. And there are a lot of activities that you can do here. The most fun for me is going under the waterfall. The good thing about this day is that wala masyadong tao sa falls. Siguro kasi maaga pa kami and that is to our advantage. We've managed to take a lot of pictures and videos for our remembrance and siguro we took almost 2 hours to nagstay sa falls.
also meron mga bamboo rafts where they will pull you near to the waterfalls and have your picture taken One of the most surprising moments namin is yung human drone shot ni Kuya. The next destination is the highest point of Sikihor Island. From the Lassi Church, it's a 10 kilometers drive going into the view deck. But before we go there, Dumaan muna kami sa Bandilaan Healing Park. On the way, nagfa-fog na kasi nga medyo na ulan sa time na yon. Kasi nga we are near sa highest peak ng Sikihor and medyo umaambon kaya nagfa-fog. Pagdating namin doon, walang tao. Kasi nga only in the Holy Week na parang may festival dito. And that is a time where the Bandilaan Healing Park is being used and crowded with a lot of people. So if you're planning to get a chance to meet sa mga healers ng Sikihor, go here during the Holy Week. So as of now, walang tao, so nagpa-picture na lang kami. So we've moved on and hindi pa rin tumitigil ang ulan. Pero syempre, hindi yun rason para bumalik na kami. At last, we have arrived sa bottom ng peak kung saan yung 360 degrees view deck. Oh, fog, yeah, pre. From the bottom going to the platform, you will have to hike for around 10 minutes papunta sa view deck. Okay, right, guys, so papunta kami ngayon sa uh, mayroong watchtower uh, my 316 of you third time for me and first time para kay uh, Carl kaya grab na namin yung opportunity ngayon kahit na medyo mahirap yung daan let's go alright guys approaching na kami The watchtower, Mandilaan. So I get to be done. Hanggang sa. All right, makina namin ang book view. Nagpafag. Nda. The fog man. Hello. The best 360 view. Let's go. Let's go. Get going. All right. Second floor. Yeah. <laughs> Third. Yeah. So the same as Omulan. So Eh mga ko makakita ni Carl yung <laughs> Magandang view. Kasi nga umulan. Okay lang. Tutuwa ako sa fog. Ha? Tutuwa ako sa fog. Oh, yan last. All right. Woohoo! Dati rate. Ano siya? Umulan. Dati rate. Ano lang siya, uh, uh, parang steel truss, trusses siya, angle bar, ganun. Pero ngayon, ayan, okay na. Walang. Yeah! <laughs> See you, I'm
clouds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ganda. Wala. Ganda kahit wala, wala makita. <laughs> Puro clouds. Let's go. So since wala kaming makita na healer sa healing park kanina, so we decided na magtanong-tanong kung sino yung mga local healers sa area. And we are lucky enough na nakakita kami ng isang healer. Hi guys, so ngayon pupunta kami sa bahay ni 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 Tita Wakina. Tita Wakina. <laughs> ni Nanay Kina. Ni Nanay Kina, famous na ano talaga uh, healer daw dito sa may dito na area ng Sikior. So yung pangalan ng healer is si Ma'am Wakina. Inexplain niya na siya ay gumagawa ng amulets and good luck potions. We found out na hindi pala pwedeng ibenta yung mga gimat or potions na nabili mo sa mga healers. Kasi nga daw, mawawala ng visa ang mga ito. You will have to buy it first hand from the healers para may visa yung mga agimat ng mga potions. Uh, noon, walang nagawa niyan dahil pag hindi suitable yung orasyon sa iyo mm. eh parang ano rin yun, yung parang hindi hindi pwede mm. di ba yung normal lang talagang paggawa parehan ito uh, it is in there ito protection din itong kahoy ito kaya ibang kahoy ito sa ibang mga kahoy so i decided to buy one for myself kasi nga kung saan saan na ako napapadpad kaya it's good that i have something to protect me by the way ilang days niyo ginagawa ito Hmm? Days, weeks, ilang ilang araw ba? Ay, yung sa isang araw o dalawang araw, depende kasi kay mag, mag ano pa kasi, uh, mag gano'n uh, ng mga kahoy. Uh, Siguro mga tatlong araw, uh, mayroon na. Uh, oh, plus dahil ipamala pa yan. Plus ng mga prayers ninyo. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Siyempre, ano na yan, hmm. isang, kahit hindi kami mag-pray, basta sa aming hmm. gawa. Oh, dahil may mga superstitious kasi ah, paggawa niyan. We also bought a love potion. Sabi ni Mamukina, yung love potion na ito ay hindi panggayuma. Kundi ito ay para pag-enhance ng positive vibe sa bahay or sa business mo. You can put this in your bag to bring you good luck wherever you go. Tinuruan kami ni Mamukina kung paano ito gawin na parang potion so that we can have it as a fragrance in our house, our car, or sa area kung saan kami nag-work. So ayan, if you're planning to buy authentic agimat or potions, you will have to buy it for yourself. Hindi pwedeng mag-order online. Have a good time. Hi, sunny day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dan. Salamat, Dan. So, after we finish there, we went to the San Juan area where we lunch at the restaurant in the Bay of Dagat. Ay, ang ganda po ng ano, ng sand nila kasi medyo smooth yung sand nila. Hindi katulad sa ibang beach. Ayun. Ayun. <laughs> so magla-lunch muna kami. And then after that, syempre, and then yung video. Exploring Siki Hor. Let's go. <laughs> so after ng lunch, we went back to the hotel, pack up our bags, and then we headed back to the Roro Terminal. Kasi tomorrow we will be traveling to Oslo, Cebu, at magdive sa mga whale sharks. Hey guys, so ayan po yung travel namin sa Sikikor. 
What's up? <laughs> First time ko. So, hindi lahat na puntahan namin. Pero yung mga important na famous na mga spot, syempre na puntahan namin. Next time na babalik kami dito, explore naman namin yung kabilang, eh, kabilang part ng isla. And then, at the same time, itadive natin yung mga ano, marine sanctuary. Wala na kaming time para mag-dive. Kasi yung dive is almost 2 hours. Yung ano, yung dive. So, ayan. Ito kapunt na. Oh. And, don't forget, Yan, yung merch namin. <laughs> Coming na. Pagbalik namin, papagawa namin yan. Available na sa Shopee. Para ma-ship namin sa Nationwide. Okay? Spots and Navi. Oh, Navi. Yeah, any fun? Outdoor gear. Yan. So, make sure to you subscribe. And then follow our social media accounts. Until next time, sa so part 3 na naman. Secret. Kung saan kami pupunta. Okay? Let's go! Tara, tanawa nyo guys ng mga manol no? Mga manol sa balut <laughs> <laughs>